Welcome back to my channel. I filmed a bunch of different clips throughout the week where I forgot to do an intro and I forgot to talk too much in the clip. So I thought I would unpack my shopping with you. It's now the week after and I've already edited the video, but I thought I'd unpack my shopping with you, show you what we picked up from Waitrose today and then throw in the clips from last week. Um, so we went to the shops this morning and picked up some stuff because we're going to be making a nice fish dish later on tonight. But we haven't eaten yet and it is almost 20 to 4. So I'm currently making us some bacon sandwiches. Um, I'm going to do like bacon brioche and halloumi with chilli jam from Nando's style like roll sort of thing for us. Um, but I need to get a move on because we're starving. So I'm going to show you quickly what, was, what we got from Waitrose. First up, we got this uh, new coffee brand that Matt actually picked out. Matt, do you have anything to say on this? I'm you sorry, fancied packaging. this? He I'm likes packaging. Something different. Japanese, some, apparently. Japanese, something a bit strong. different. Strong, five out of five, so we thought we would try this. Some lettuce for maybe I might have a BLT today, actually, while you have your halloumi thing. So I got some lettuce. Some cherry tomatoes on the vine because they're the best kind. Some apple juice, of course. Milk. Bananas because we have spin tomorrow, which is like not even in this vlog. This is anyway. Some tender stem broccoli heads for with our fish. This is our fish. We got two um Cod loins, which we have a little lemon and like creamy dill sauce to go with. Some potatoes. I'm gonna make like little crispy potatoes that we had at a restaurant this week. Some samphire to go with the fish as well. Tin foil. Some sanex. This is our shower gel of choice. We're both sensitive, sensitive skinned people, so we like to go for the basic ones. Um, oh, I actually got this, which is a coffee and walnut cake. You know when you're just craving like a, a slice of cake and a cup of tea? This is what I've got in plan, I've got in mind for this afternoon, although we're running out of time because it's almost four o'clock. Um, oh, you have this. Yeah, no, Matt has his. I'll have it later. Just yeah, like this is a really nice milkshake brand that Matt likes. Chocolate salted caramel milkshake not my bag but you like it and then we got some garlic and some Richelli's tiramisu so we're really looking forward to those as well um so that's all we got and now I'm gonna chat you through what we got up to this week and put in the clips whilst I cut the halloumi that is going with the bacon the bacon's almost cooked so I need to get a move on okay so I have my chopping board and my halloumi and I'm gonna cut this while I talk you through what we went what we got up to this week, or what I got up to. Um, so we started off the week with a spin class, so as in started off the week like last Sunday sort of thing. Went to spin, um, then we did quite a hard class actually last week. Um, it was a one hour class, we've actually got another one of those this Sunday. So we went to spin, then we went to Blank Street Coffee, we picked up a couple of coffees. This is not our coffee shop of choice, but the one that we love to go to, in Clapham which is called Coffee to Love Tea and something. It's got a bit bit of a strange name. That was too busy. So we decided we'd try it blank straight. We got two shaken oat something or other iced coffees, which we didn't love to be honest. We thought they were a little bit they weren't oat, it was, was it? Well we don't know what they were, it was but it wasn't sugar. it wasn't our favourite. Then we picked up some bits from M S, got the train home that's us just leaving Clapham Junction. And then after that, we came home. Oh, and I actually made a sandwich whilst we watched some Kardashians. I think it was the Kardashians we were watching. Um, so I made ham, cheese and salad sandwich with like a mustard mayo, which is my favorite. And that was delicious. And then that was my finished sandwich. And then it was Monday morning, so I am reading this new book. Actually, it's right here. It's not that new. I've spoken about it throughout this video and the last video, so I don't know about continuity here, but I am reading this book called The Housemaid, 
and it's really good. It's kind of very similar to Verity, if you've read that, um, with the whole setup between the husband and wife and things like that. So that was good. And then after that, on so then obviously I had a few days at work, the usual. And then I went on Thursday night to the Ned with some friends. We had some someone's leaving drinks. And then we went on to the Ned and had some like pizza and margaritas by the pool. It was really cool. And it's right in the city, like right beside the office. And you can kind of look over at all the beautiful buildings in the night. It's really cool. So after that, I got a taxi home and then it was on Friday. So obviously it worked, for, worked on Friday. And then Friday night, we went out for the most amazing meal to a place called Mountain in Soho. It's actually by the same people that own Brat and the food was amazing. The setting was really cool as well, like the ambiance. Um, the food was delicious. This is actually one of the recipes, the little chive potatoes is what I'm gonna try and recreate tonight when we have our fish. I would say if you go there, it's quite expensive, um, but the food was incredible and we ordered some amazing bottles of wine, which we loved. And it was just nice for like four of us catching up and it was a great restaurant. If you are going there, I would definitely try and sit upstairs if you put that on your recommend date, on your booking. Downstairs is nice as well, like really nice atmosphere, but upstairs is really cool. There's like a nice, there's like bookcases everywhere, not bookcases, but there's stuff to look at. It's like got a good atmosphere and ambiance. Um, and we tried an amazing spider crab omelette. We had like mushrooms with this egg yolk. It was really cool. Um, and then like meat and stuff. So that was my little roundup of the start of the week. And now I'm gonna say goodbye and you're gonna go back in time to the rest of the vlog. It's Saturday morning. We went out for a really nice meal last night to a place called Mountain. And we're currently in the park waiting for some bacon rolls. We have coffees. How's coffee? Good meal last night. Yeah, really good meal. What was your Very highlight long. of the meal? I think that steak was one of the best I've ever had, to be honest. Yeah, we had really nice steak. Didn't need a sauce. It was perfectly salted. Perfectly a little bit of Bernese cooked. sauce would have been quite no, nice. No, I don't. I think that's why you go to Flat Iron and pay 10 quid for a steak and smother it in sauce, to be honest. Be nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, the food was incredible. I'll include some clips. And we are going to watch football oh, this afternoon. Ourselves. What did you get again? Bacon roll. No, yeah, did you get egg? No, I just got bacon. Oh, oh they've been waiting for a while. <laughs> so we are going to watch Spurs this afternoon. I was the third choice in the list, but excited. It's at three o'clock, so we're just gonna enjoy our bacon rolls when they arrive, have a walk around the park, nurse a bit of a hangover, because we had three bottles of red wine last night, between four of us. Um, expensive bottles of red wine, so. Expensive. Our bill came to like almost 500 pounds <laughs> for four of us, so it was a lot, but the food was amazing. Like, I think it was worth it. Yeah, yeah. I'd 100% go you back. You normally do it every weekend, I think once in a while. Yeah. Good to experience things like that. Yeah, it was really good. So, yeah, we've got a nice slow Saturday with some football later, which will be fun. Last night or last weekend? Last night. No, we didn't cross bacon last night. Oh my god, this looks so good. Oh yes. It's not bacon. I love how they toast the top of the bun. There's quite a lot of fat on this. Oh, no, but I don't need to have bacon and complain about the fat. You want some ketchup? I do want some ketchup. Mm. You know, some natural fat's good for you. Yeah. Oh, this is such a nice morning. Mm. I'll have to give you tissues as well. Mm. Mm. I think you're right about the rules being different though. Last time. I think that's better than the one we had the other week. Mm. The rolls are so crispy.
This is my little outfit of the day for going to football. So I've got on like green plain jacket with like a grey t-shirt, some blue Levi's and my Stan Smiths. So we're about to head off now. I think we're going to get a beer, probably something to eat. Um, I don't think we've ever walked through this little bit before. Yeah. Look, there's loads of little geese on there. We have just come home after the park. I put on a little pink cardigan because it's quite cold. Um, and I realised that actually I need to upload this video tomorrow. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, but first of all, I wanted to quickly show you what I got in on our little day out um, last when was it? I think it was like Saturday last week. Um, I picked up some bits from Tiger and then also got a new cleanser. So I thought I would just show you. It's just candles. I think you saw in the shop anyway, but I thought I would just show you me opening some of these. Actually, maybe I will prop you up. So very quickly, I just got some candles. So we love the big... I know these are, I don't want to say it because Mac is a bit stressed out about this stuff, but I know these aren't great for inhaling the wax fumes and stuff. Um, and they're just cheap candles, but I just love the way they look. And yeah, it's high ceilings. I mean, I think they'll be fine. So I got one of those. I think this is another plain white one. Just little churchy pillar candles and they just last ages. I just like how they look in the window, like we always put them up there in the window frame. And then I got some colourful ones. So I got a blue, an orange, two pinks and another orange. So obviously I'll not be burning all of these at the same time, but I just thought they add a bit of colour and interest and yeah, they're just cheap candles. So we just like having some of them around. They do smell a little bit gross, but I think they're just old. Um, I also wanted to show you quickly, I got this new cleanser. This is a CeraVe hydrating foaming oil cleanser for normal to very dry skin. Um, also suitable for baby and baby and atopic prone skin. What is baby? Like at children. Um, because I have two empties. I'm actually going to go and get them and just discuss them quickly. So these are the two cleansers that I've recently finished up using. So this is the Caudalie Vino Clean, you know, from the range, the, I don't know which range it is, but this was really good. It was um like a milky kind of creamy cleanser and it was really good and I did like it, but I just feel like it wasn't, it didn't take my makeup off properly. Um, it's one of, oh, the almond range. It's like almond and kind of nutty. Um, and it says it has almond oil in it, but I didn't feel like it was a proper like oily cleanser. So I did like it, but I would never, I wouldn't be repurchasing this or buying it again. Then this one, the CeraVe smoothing cleanser for dry, rough, bumpy skin. So this is like for texture. I did like this and I've used like three of these up already, like in the past like five years. Um, like gone, always gone back to it because I do think it is really good for texture. I probably should have a combination. I should probably have like one of each of these and kind of go between them because this is really good for texture, but it does make your skin really dry. Like I'm very dry skinned and I don't know, I think a few nights of using it, it does, your skin looks really kind of like it's had a good exfoliation after you use it, but I don't think it's good to use it every single day, if that makes sense. Whereas this one, I've actually used this a couple of times, um, but I did just buy it like on Saturday last week. 
um, I think this is really good in terms of like, it does give you that, you feel like you've properly washed your face and all your makeup comes off. With this one as well, makeup comes off great. But this, I think is just a little bit more hydrating and I think because it's got oil, it's an oil cleanser. Um, it's just really good. I really like this one. Um, but I might actually get another one of these just to alternate because sometimes you do feel like your skin needs a bit of a good exfoliate without using like a physical exfoliant. Um, so yeah, I got that as well. I also think I've already discussed the book that I bought, The Housemaid, um, which is a fab book. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I've only had it for a few days, but I um, picked it up in Waterstones and it was recommended by a friend of mine and yeah, really good so far. So if you're looking for a page turner, then I would pick that up. But I'm going to end this vlog here now. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to have another video up next week, which I think is going to be like a Monday reset video. I'm usually in the office every Monday. So I took the opportunity to put some loads of washing on and kind of like sort out my life a little bit. Um, and it just helped start the week off right. So I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you next week. Bye.